The day after a tense shootout in Tualatin that left a suspect dead and a deputy fighting for his life, we're learning much more about the suspected shooter and we're hearing from a neighbor who listened to it all as it unfolded. Jamie Seymour joining us live tonight with the latest. And I guess, Jamie, the first question is, how is the deputy doing tonight? Jeff, the deputy is still in critical condition here at the hospital and their name has not yet been released. Now, the major crimes team is revealing a little more about the minutes before the deputy was shot. And tonight, a neighbor is taking us through those moments. A chaotic scene at a Tualatin apartment complex as we learn more about what led up to the shooting that critically injured a deputy. The Washington County Sheriff's Office says 34-year-old Christopher Graves shot at deputies, hitting one multiple times from inside the apartment when they tried to serve a court-ordered eviction notice at the Timbers at Tualatin. Neighbor Richard Osborne heard those first gunshots and didn't know what was unfolding upstairs. I ran further inside to try to find somewhere that where there'd be more protection because I didn't know if it was this apartment directly above me, and I was possibly worried about getting hit by a street bullet. The Washington County Major Crimes Team, now investigating this, says the suspect retreated into his apartment after those initial shots. Osborne says it wasn't long before backup got in place, some he spotted with guns drawn. And they were pointing up here towards where the staircase is up towards the apartment complex. A couple hours later, members of Washington County's tactical team got inside Graves' apartment and found him dead from a gunshot wound. They say right now it's not clear if it was self-inflicted or from law enforcement, adding that at least one deputy returned fire in the initial shooting. A day later, Graves' front door is boarded up with a padlock. We looked into what led up to the eviction. The landlord complaint says the cause was non-payment of rent and utilities for the month of May. Osborne says he only knew his neighbor in passing, but still feels bad about what unfolded Wednesday. I am really sorry that it escalated to this. It's just a terrible situation when things like this happen. We spoke to a family member of Christopher Graves earlier today off camera, and understandably this news came as a shock to them as well, and they are still working through everything. Reporting live in North Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News. All right, Jamie, thank you.